to not enter Jannat on the day of judgment. Sayyidina Salman al Farisi, Dabi Allah Ta'ala, a famous Sahabi of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Thalafatun la yadkhulun al Jannah. <clears throat> there are three types of people who will not enter Jannat on the day of judgment. Qiyamat ke din, teen kisam ke loog Jannat mein daakhil nahi honge. First, the Prophet sallallahu an old person who despite, despite having reached the old age, still commits adultery and fornication. Umar bhar jane ke baawajood, bhaarapi ke athara jane ke baawajood, badkari aur zinakari ke gunah mein aisa mubtala hua, ki abhi tak usse jaan nahi chuti. Ye shaks bhi kiamat ke din jannat mein daakhil nahi hoga. Yani, when after having reached the old age, instead of turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, instead of Attaining nearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy before he leaves this world he is still committing the sin of adultery the white hair on his beard the white hair, the grey hair on his head, the weakness of the eyesight, the weakness of his limbs, kamzori, brapa, zo, all of these were signs that your end is near. And you are about to enter your grave. You are about to appear before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are about to be questioned about your life and the things you did in your life. Yisari athar te alamati. चल अब तो रब की बारगाह की तरफ आ जा अब तो मरने से पहले उसे राजी कर ले अब तो तेरा वक्त भी करीब आ चुका है अब तो ये सारा कुछ छोड़ दे लेकिन ही इग्नोर्ड एवरीथिंग ही इग्नोर्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज वार्निंग्स सैयदना याकूब अलैहि सलाम it is mentioned in a narration that he made this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He made this request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, before my time, I want you to send a messenger to me to inform me that my time is near in this world. And when his time came, Israel alayhi salam approached him and he said, Hazrat, your time is over. Yaqub alayhi salam, he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I made this request to you that before this time, send me a messenger. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Yaqub alayhi salam, don't you see those gray hair on your head and in your beard? Yaqub alayhi salam said, Yes, Ya Allah, I see gray hair, white hair in my beard. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Yaqub, this was my messenger 
this was a message to you. Hey, Yaqub, when you have gray hair, your time is near. He must repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for his forgiveness. But this individual, Shaykh Zani, despite having reached the old age, he is still committing adultery, the sin of zina, la yadkhulul jannah, on the day of judgment, he shall not enter jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> And number two, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wal Imam al kadhib A man who is, who is an Imam, and despite being an Imam, he lies to people. Imam bhi hai, or Imam honi ke baawazood, jhoot bolta hai loko. <coughs> He tells lies when he is explaining a mas'ala to people. He tells lies when he is delivering a speech. He tells lies when mentioning a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ without mentioning the chain, without mentioning the sanad, without mentioning any references where he took the hadith from. مَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَيَّ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَلْيَتَبَوَّأْ مَقْعَدَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said Whoever attributes a lie to me and he mentions a hadith which I did not even say فَلْيَتَبَوَّأْ مَقْعَدَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ Then let him find his abode in Jahannam When people say Rasulullah said this, when in reality Rasulullah never said it. He lies to people. He, he hides knowledge, the true knowledge, knowledge of Quran and knowledge of Hadith from people. Such an Imam for him the doors of Jannah will be closed on the Day of Judgment. And um, in uh, a, another hadith which is mentioned, same hadith but quoted in Az-Zawajir of Imam Haythami rahmatullahi ta'ala instead of Al-Imam he uses the word Al-Malikul Kazab. So the Imam could mean the literal Imam, yani an Imam in Masjid, or the Imam could mean a ruler. Because Imam, the literal meaning of Imam is a leader. Ye jo Masjid mein Imam hota hai, ye bhi leader hota hai. Or ye jo Hakumtum hota hai, ye bhi leader hota hai. They are also called Imams. So the Imam could also mean a ruler, Al Malik. Now it will mean a ruler who lies to his people, to his subjects. He makes promises to his people and he never fulfills them. He gives them hope, but he does not deliver anything. Jhoot pe jhoot bolta hai, apni awam se jhoot bolta Vade karta hai, suhane khab di khata hai, lekin pura nahi karta, al-malikul kadzaab, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shahat sallam, yeh joh shakhs hai, kiamat ke din, yeh bhi jannat mein nahi jayega. Aisa imam, ya aisa, hukmaran, jis ne logon se jhoot bole, yeh bhi kal kiamat ke din jannat mein nahi jayega. And number three, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَالْعَائِلْ الْمَزْهُوْبْ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام A poor man, despite being poor, he still acts arrogantly. غريب بھی ہے, فقیر بھی ہے And عائل, it's a word from عال يعول which means having close members of his family 
who depend on him. Despite having a large family, he acts arrogantly. اس کے اب بہت سارے مفہوم حدیث میں بیان کیے گئے ہیں نمبر ایک تو یہی سیدھی سیدھی بات سمجھ میں آتی ہے کہ بیکاز آف ایروگنس بیکاز آف تکبر بیکاز آف فرائڈ دس انڈیویجول ول ناٹ اینٹر جنت آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ تکبر آ اس کے اندر امام غزالی رحمۃ اللہ تعالیٰ اینڈ مینی ادرس دے ہیو گیون سائنس آف ہاؤ ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی اف سم ون Uh, has this maraz and disease of takabbur, arrogance. For example, they say that uh, a man with takabbur will have uh, an excessive desire to receive praise from others. Excessive desires. If they are not praised, they... they uh, uh, They get angry. ان کی تعریف نہ کی جائے کسی اچھے کام میں تو غصہ آتا ہے ان کو کانسٹنٹلی اسپیکنگ آف دم سیلوس اینڈ دا اچیومنٹس آلویز یو سیٹ دم ود دم اینڈ آل یو ہیئر فرام دم I did this, I achieved that. Many ye kamal ka diya, many wo kamal ka diya. Har vakt sirf yehi guftugu ho gi. Self-praise. Apni tarif kare. They find it very extremely difficult to apologize and to ask for forgiveness for their own mistakes. Remember uh, the incident of Shaitan? It was difficult for him to apologize to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sin which he committed, disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lekin taqabur mein aage, mara ge. And the only reason for this curse was his arrogance. Um, they, they, they are extremely uh, intolerant of those who are not like them. If you don't act the way I act, if you don't sit the way I sit, if you don't wear what I wear, if you don't behave the way I behave, If you can't meet my standard, then I shall condemn you. Look down on you. This is arrogance. This is a sign of arrogance. They are, they are always boastful of what they have. And they look down on others. I have this car. I have this house. I wear these branded clothes, branded shoes. I have this much money. I have this many sons. Sheikh here we got it. Or jinko Allah ne nahi diya, un pe hanste, un pe tamaskur karte. Gareebon ko dekh ke, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran Majid in Surah Al-Luqman when Luqman alayhi salam was giving advice to his son when qala Luqman ibnihi wa huwa ya'idu la tushrik illa inna al-shirka la dhulman azim towards the end of this ruku Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes Hazrat Luqman alayhi salam in Quran Majid wa la tusa'ir khaddaka lil nas wa la tamshi fil ardi maraha inna Allah la yuhibbu kulla mukhtal fakhur You know, um, when beggars come to you and they ask you something in the name of Allah, Allah they ask the push only for the sake of Allah. And you look at this individual, 
dirty clothes, dust on his face, on his head, barefooted, begging, and you make you start making faces into his face. Please keep away from me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Don't make faces to people. And don't walk over the earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maraha arrogantly. This earth is not yours. This earth belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, a time will come when you will be beneath this soil, this very soil. You think you are stronger? Then tell me, are you stronger than the mountains created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You think you are tall, taller than others and that makes you arrogant? Then tell me, what is more tall, taller, you or these tall mountains that you see created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? أَفَلَا يَنظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبْلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ don't you see the camels more stronger than you? See the heavens, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated them. Look at the mountains created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, high and tall and strong. And look at the earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how we spread it. What are you? أَفَّلْيَنْظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ مِمَّا خُلِقْ خُلِقَ مِمَّا إِنْ دَافِقْ يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ السُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَاحِ Allah created you from this single drop of water. فَلْيَنْظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ إِلَىٰ طَعَامِهِ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ نُطْفَ أَمْشَالِ نَبْتَلِي فَجَعَلْنَاهُ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا So many ayats in Quran you see. إِنْ كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّنَ الْبَعْثِ فَإِنَّا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِّنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ ثُمَّ مِنْ مُدْغَةٍ مُخَلَّقَةٍ وَغَيْرِ مُخَلَّقَةٍ لِنُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ مَنُقِرُّ فِي الْأَرْحَامِ أَلَمْ نَخْلُقْكُمْ مِنْ مَاءٍ مَّهِينٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ فِي قَرَارٍ مَّكِينٍ إِلَى قَدَرٍ مَّعْلُومٍ فَقَدَرْنَا فَنِعْمَ الْقَادِرُ A single drop of water was given life and this life came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are you? Nothing. So this individual, because of arrogance, and when, when you join these two words, al-wal'a'il al-mazhub, it also gives the meaning that instead of spending on those who depend on him, this person he ignores those family members, he ignores his parents, he ignores his wife, he ignores his children, and he only spends on himself. And he leaves his wife, he leaves his children in poor and miserable conditions. When it comes to phones, you will see him with the latest phone. When it comes to clothes, latest branded clothes, shoes latest, cars latest. But when you look at his wife and his children, poor and miserable, hungry. They were, they were depending on him. And this one, ye unko bula ki apni zimmedariyon ko bula ki apni bivi ko bula ki apne bachcho ko bula ki sirf apni zaat pe kharch karta ja a man once came a, a wealthy man a companion of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
I have this much wealth. It's a lengthy hadith. And Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I want to give everything in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do you have a wife and children? He said, yes, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, then only give one third of your wealth in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and leave everything else for your children. Lest you die and you leave them in poor and miserable conditions. You will die and you will understand that I have given everything to Allah in the name of Allah. But what will you become after your wife and your children? What will you become after your children? Who will look after them? Who will provide for them after you leave them? After your death? After your death? Who will provide for them after you leave them? After your death? You have a responsibility to provide for them. So all of these meanings are found in, in, in the word wal ail al mazhub. So um, these three people, a Sheikh Zani, a person in old age who still um, uh, commits adultery, the sin of adultery, ma'adullah, wal Imam al Kadib, um, uh, with both meanings. Uh, an Imam, a literal Imam, uh, could be an Imam of Masjid, but he tells lies to people, and a ruler who lies to his people, or his subjects, uh, will not enter Jannah on the Day of Judgment. Well, I will must hope, and a poor man who still, <clears throat> despite being poor and needy, he still uh, acts arrogantly because of his uh, arrogance, he and, and ignoring the rights and responsibilities towards his children, towards his wife, towards his parents, this individual will also not enter Jannah uh, on the Day of Judgment. And this hadith uh, is found in Muslim Bazaar, um, in Majma al Zama'id, and uh, the hadith with uh, the word Wal Imam al Kadib is found in Sahih of Imam Muslim, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, Sunan of Imam Nisai. And Muslim of Imam Ahmad, uh, Imam Haythami Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, he has quoted the same hadith from Hazrat Salman al Farsi with the word Al Malik al Kazab instead of Wal Imam al Kadib. Allah Ta'ala Hame Amal Ki Tofi Masih.